Good evening and welcome to second round action of IHSAA Class 1A Boys Basketball sectional number 50 coming to you live here from the Trojan Trench in Bourbon, Indiana, Triton High School. You got a uh, Andy Stone here with Amy on the headset. Hello. Uh, Philly Dean running the computer and Peyton on the camera tonight. We want to welcome everybody to the night's action round two. Argus Dragons versus Oregon Davis Bobcats. So we got a few things going on here. Obviously, we're ready to get things going. We're getting ready to start the game. We've got about three and a half minutes. The both teams are back in the locker rooms getting some final advice, direction, instruction. instruction. So, uh, so the Dragons are coming in on a season record of <clears throat> 14 and 9 with the Oregon Davis Bobcats coming in with a season record of 4 and 18. Previous meeting before the Dragons, Argus won 60 to 39. Yep, middle of January. Middle of January. And so that was a good game. <clears throat> Should we do Pass. an interview with Mrs. Manikowski? We're first? passing out candy, so it was Manikowski. <laughs> she says go Argus. Yep. And Manikowski's mom. She's getting some candy so she won't be yelling Ready too much. Ready to root on her senior. <laughs> Her thousand point Ready score to senior. On thousand point score and senior. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we got a little bit of max preps action here. The first game tonight was Triton versus Lacrosse, where the Trojans came up victorious with a score of 55 to 26. They're advancing on to tomorrow night's final action at seven o'clock. Championship game tomorrow night, which you can catch that game right here on Argus TV, RTC TV4. With we'll be there. The Dragons, as long as they get through this game, which <laughs> we are anticipating another win for the Dragons. But that's why you play them. You never know for sure. And the Argus fight song is going on. So, and they are uh, got the pep group going. They're all in white tonight. White out is the uh, theme? theme of the evening. So we'll have the starting lineups here in a little bit. We got about a minute 50 left. You know, the last time these two teams met, Sam Manikowski, I believe, had 25 points. 25 points on the evening, which was a big boost to get him to that 1,000-point uh, uh, record and mark for him, which is always a big milestone for every basketball player yeah. in high school. That's kind of where they always set the bar at. And so. you know what? J.J. Morris, the freshman, came off. I don't know if he started, came or if he started that game. He had 11 points. Yeah, he wasn't a starter. I remember that. And sophomores Michael Richard and Ted Redinger, Mike had nine and Ted had seven. Yep, so uh, they're looking for big, another big night tonight. Yeah, had quite a few of the Dragons score that night. And so we're going to see how it works. We're going to see what the Dragons have. Coach Mawson again here. He's reached a very big milestone also this year with 450th win. So are we up to 450. I think it's about Two or three. 453 <laughs> maybe. Now yeah, I can't remember how many games ago that was, but congratulations to him. Yeah, that's a huge milestone for coaches. It's kind of a, for, you know, basketball coaches have been in it for a long time. 450 is the mark to be considered in, for the history books there for the state of Indiana and coaching history there in basketball. So we've had a few coaches reach that milestone over the years, uh, but Coach Mawson did tenure over at G John Glenn and then come over to the Dragons here and has been at the helm for a while now and done some very good things. Last year's sectional winners, so they're looking to repeat that and see what they could do when it comes up for later on today. So here we are, we're getting ready to do the starting lineups. Argus is the home team tonight. They are in the white color jerseys, hence the white the, out. That would be the white shirt. There you go, hence the white out for the pet block. So they didn't get us the starting lineups for forehand, so Amy's going to do the Oregon Davis Bobcats. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> She's going to try to keep up with that <laughs> announcer. Uh, there. They do announce non-starters, I believe. Yes. So we'll just announce starters. Well, we do the non-starters. I always did that. I did them all. <laughs> so, hey. We welcome you as guests at our tonight's sectional game. Now let's meet the players. First for the visiting team, the Oregon Davis Bobcats. All right, first for Oregon Davis. Non-starters. Non number two, Dennis Cooley, Jr. 
Number 20, Jared Bryan. Number 30, Caleb Cease. Number 32, Braden Swanson. Number 34, Ryan Pitts Jr. Number 42, David Wieger. And number 50, Landon Green. Starting for the Bobcats, number four, Cameron Taylor. Number 10, Nolan Green. Number 14, Garrett Weil. Number 22, Connor Danford. And number 40, Dylan Murphy. Morgan Davis is coached by Larry Center. Now see Philly here, he's got a little bit of mixed emotions. He's rooting for the Dragons, but Cameron Taylor, this number four, the starter, is his nephew. So he's gonna be a little bit rooting for him. So for the Argus Dragons, here we go. Once again, they forget to do the non-starters for us. <laughs> so starting for the Dragons, number three, Sam Manikowski. Number five, J.J. Morris. Number 23, 33, Caleb Ellis. Number 35, Owen Nightfong. And number 23, Michael Richard. Go smart, Coach Mawson. So for the non-starters for the Dragons, you have Caden Nightfong, Jake Stoltz, Elijah Osborne, Caden Brady, Teddy Redinger, Dylan Kindig with a broken foot. Yeah. Colin O'Dell and Aiden or AJ Mills. They did that before. I, okay. I just I was I just. You know what? I, I bet if you went down and told that poor guy, he'd feel bad. Yeah, it happens. Here's the tip, and it's back fourth and it over and back. You betcha. It was a mess of a tip. Nobody had control of it. Called over and back. So there you go. So I'm. It will be Argus's possession on the next jump ball. He touched it on both sides. I believe. Coach Mawson is checking out. If he had possession enough to over well, and it, back no, it, it doesn't. <coughs> but they have to decide who will have possession. They're, not, he's They're trying to figure out which way the ball is supposed to go. Sometimes, you know, I've been on that bench. Sometimes it's hard to know what's going on. <laughs> no. but, but it's good they're finding it out now yes. and not waiting until the next jump ball. So... So he's, that's what I said. That was. Sam, <laughs> Sam's working up the crowd. He's getting them going. To me, if he had enough possession to do an over and back, then he had possession. Yeah. And the thing is, he was on this side first and went over here. But, but. If he didn't have possession, he couldn't head over and back. I know, but what they're trying to figure out is they were actually thinking they were supposed to be going the other way. So he was on his, the oh. wrong side and then came back. And it, and it should be Such his. confusion. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They were, we're all good. The Dragons got back. the basketball. Why Here we go. They're going that way. There you go. Well, they didn't want to. I don't know. Wow. Okay. It's uh, this is bone. Here we go. Five seconds of clock. Five right. seconds and Mass confusion. a minute and a half of waiting for the officials to decide what to do. Still zero zero. Yes. <laughs> Tie ball game here <laughs> to Trojan, Tro Trojan Trench. Ellis, Manikowski. Well, thrown away by Richard. A little miscommunication there. I'm willing to say so far, Oregon Davis does not plan on slowing it down like Culver, but let's see what happens. Yeah, well, we talked about that, whether they try and take a, no a leaf out of their book from the other night, but. They're going to rotate it as much as possible to try to get a high uh, percentage shot, but I don't I think they're going to deliberately hold it kind of like Culver was trying. I can't remember if they were. I'll have to check out their stats, too. Well, they're definitely uh, 
not in a hurry to go to the basket. So they're doing it with a little bit faster pace. I do that. But they are doing what Culver did a little bit. And a nice try from Taylor, and the ball's received. For Mikey Richard gets across the board. Morris. Manikowski, quick jumper, and it's no good. Rebound. And there's the first foul of the evening. Nice offensive board by Mike Richard. Fouls on number 10, Nolan Green, his first team first. Morris out top, gets it. Knife on, baseline. Manikowski off the forehead, catches it. Drives. Morris can't get to it, and Ellis gets it back. Ellis fakes. Morris goes to it and puts it in for two. I saw him cut him. That's why I said it. And there you go. And Nifong with the quick sidestep, and the big man hits him, and they call the offensive foul. Dylan Murphy comes up with his Dylan first. Davis Morgan Davis' Davis. second team foul. Good crowd here tonight. Yep, the crowd. Parking lot was full. Coming in. <clears throat> Manikowski, little jumper, and he gets it to go. Manikowski for two. Give a shout out to Mr. Spiker. He's here again tonight, rooting on his dragons. Mr. Medich, Mr. Alcorn yep. here. Well, they're they're kind of close. No, that's true. This is real, you know. But he lives a good, away. good distance away, and still here to support his team and his school. Has it out high. Taylor. Kicks it over. Whale. Green. Drives on baseline. Little jumper and it's no good. Rebound. Manikowski with the air. Green tried to get to him and he couldn't. Manikowski. Tittle him behind and Green knocks it loose. Good defensive play. Taylor goes up and misses. Rebound, shot, and one. What a play from Taylor. Basket will be good. Foul is on number 33, Caleb Ellis, his first team first. Shots up, and it's good. Bobcats within one. Knife on over to Ellis. Richard, little jumper, and he's fouled. He's shooting two. That's foul on Green. And first sub for. Oregon Green. Davis. That's Green's second foul. Yep. Looks like Cooley's coming in. <clears throat> Michael Richard at the line. First one's up. Smooth as silk. And Green takes a break with two fouls already. <laughs> See if he can get this second one to fall. So far, both teams 100% from the free throw line. You just jinxed it. Nope. <laughs> I was hoping you had what outstanding shooting from the free throw line for the <laughs> both teams. Here's a long distance three, and it's an air ball out of bounds. Cooley can't do anything with it. He tried. Dragons basketball. Nice hustle. Yep. Shout out to my brother Mark at home watching. The fam. I'm sure Brindley's watching. Yes, she's, hi Brindley. She's <laughs> devoted. <laughs> She's an Ian Amy fan. 
Well, you know. Manikowski drives, kicks it out. Richard, wide open for three, and it's off the mark. Tipped, and good recovery. Manikowski for two, and oh, it's good. Oh, two. Yep, it was two. He had a toe on the line. You know, that didn't have much arch. I wasn't sure it was going in, but. Oh, good defense from Morris to keep Wheel from Whale. How you pronounce it? Whale from driving in on him. Kicks it back to him, though. Did we give out Here's a quick three, and it's oh, off the mark. Rebound goes to Nifong. Did we give our disclaimer about pronouncing names? We try uh, and we apologize. It's, it's understood that uh, if we butcher a name, it's not Phil's intentional. Fault. It's Phil's fault. It's Phil's fault. <laughs> Ellis kicks it over to Nifong. Oh, what a break. And one. And Will with the foul. Michael Richard with another big bucket. Michael and Richard is a, is a left-hander. Backwards, upside yep. down, and it's every which way and puts it in. And there's going to be a timeout from Morgan Davis. We'll be back right after this. Dragons lead 10 to 3. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Genesis Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service better. for all your trash removal needs. Whether school, you're a big business or a local face. resident, to Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of cool. all of your waste removal we needs. Children to have Contact Mike's Trash LLC to today. And productive lives. Call them at 574-223-6429 or stop by the office located at 824 Main Street High School in beautiful Rochester, Indiana. And we're back. That foul is on uh, 14, Garrett Wheel. Whale, whale, whale. We're going with whale. We sorry anybody in Ogre Davis land if we're pronouncing it wrong. Phil said it was I, whale. We're going I with whale. I know it was something different. I should have wrote it down. I apologize. <laughs> Brings ODs, fouls up to four. All right, still 100% from the free throw line. Oh! And a. In and out. Andy Jinx, it will bring him. It's the in and out burger. <laughs> Now they call that timeout to ice the shooter, and that worked that time. Taylor nice little jump. puts it in for two. He's got all the points for Oregon Davis. He's got all five. Ooh. Knife long. Down over to Morris. Morris puts it up. Gets it in for two more. Nice and relaxed. The ball is blocked. Remember, remember, he was 6'4 and just right over that rim. rim. Nice and composed. Tipped. Loose. Shots up. No good. Rebound goes to the Dragons. Manikowski. Ellis. <laughs> Knife long. And Morris can't get to it. Passed it to the official. <laughs> Well, he didn't have any hands. He didn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Wile. Okay, we've been told officially it's Wile. Wile? Thank you. Garrett Wile. That's what I said the whole time. <laughs> he said that all the while. Missed. Rebound. Right into our left on hands. Ooh. Taylor's got to watch it. Get a foul called. Sam calmly brings it up the floor. Yep. Relaxed. Knife long. Morris kicks it over. Ellis for three. Oh, I this is funny. Good shot. Good look. Yep. Nice look. Kicked it out. Still want him to take that. He's got that size advantage. Wild. Ellis on him. Stolen by Morris. Gets it over to Richard. Manikowski, over. Knife on looks. Richard, jumper. In and out, just missed. Good shot. 12 to 5. Carries the ball. Wild with the old back behind the back and just gets caught up on him. Oh, Dean's bringing Ryan Pitts and Jared Bryan into the ball game, and the Dragons are bringing Ted Redinger in. Manikowski. Sam Manikowski a break. Coach Moss wants to uh, talk with him, I guess. Yeah. 
You're watching the game on Argus TV at RTC TV4. You want a shout out, send Andy or, I, or Phil a text. I guess even Peyton. We'll if give you. Have you to. Oh, Peyton, if you have to, Peyton Heckman. Nice ball. We'll give just you a misses. Hey. Good block out and rebound for Oregon Davis. One step dribble and picks it up and makes the pass off over to Taylor. Taylor's come along in this season and become a real leader for the Bobcats. Here's another quick three. No good. Nifon gets the rebound and here he goes. Slows it down. Wow. For Owen, that's a. <laughs> For Owen, Owen uh, loves to take it and coast to coast yeah. is powerful. Morris comes out high over to Redinger. Nifung, 21 seconds left in the first. Dragons up 12 to five. This is about what our halftime score was the other night. Same with theirs. <laughs> Culver was at six. Yep. That's what I meant, the whole score. Fouled. Yep, that one was on the arm. Owen will go to the line. Foul is on Dylan Murphy. That's going to be his second foul. I really think Owen was going to pass that. But they gave him the shooting foul instead. So. He was, it's a toss up. Yeah, Dragons are three of four from the line. Knife longs at the free throw line, getting ready to shoot. And big man, number 40, Murphy. 20. I was going to say. Okay, the referee's coming over. The foul is actually going to be on Jared Bryan. Correction, the foul for Oregon Davis is on number 20. Mawson, Bryan. Wants, Mawson wants a little bit of an explanation on that. Just some disagreement. He <laughs> smacks one, so that's okay. <laughs> So that helps Oregon Davis. That's good. They thought it was on 40, and it wasn't. It was on 20. I'm glad to see they corrected themselves. Nifong makes the first one. Four of five for the night so far. Make that five of six. Taylor, quick three. Oh, I actually thought that was going in. That it was, was had to put in length, but it was just off to the side so too close, far. So Dragons go at the end of the first, leading 14 to 5. We'll be back right after this. There's no better time than now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage rates are still incredibly low, so now would be a great time to come in to talk to one of our loan experts. We are here to help you find the right type of loan to fit your needs. We've been proudly serving the mortgage needs of our communities since 1966, and you'll always deal with people you know at locally owned First Federal Savings Bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. life, business, farm, health, and senior insurance. With over 16 years of experience, Evans Agency will be sure to match you with the perfect plan. Visit them at www.evansagencyrochester.com or call today at 574-224-6988 for a free quote. And we're back. Getting ready to start the second half. It'll be Argus basketball. Because the game actually started off with a over and back off of the tip, so they... So Green's back in for the Bobcats. And Manikowski's back in, and Michael Richard takes a quick break for the Dragons. Ellis, knife on, up. Blocked, not fouled. <laughs> and Mawson's looking at him like, Taylor has it, kicks it out. Back to Murphy. Murphy stands, drives, kicks it over and saved, but Morris comes away with it. Gives it over to Manikowski. Manikowski's not wasting time. Gives it over to Redinger. Knife on. From behind. Wowzers. Use the glass, boys. Try not to get hacked while you're at it. <laughs> One of those you can yep. control. 
Brian has it, kicks it back out, Green. Comes back the other way. Carries it. Turnover for the Bobcats. Green, sophomore for the Bobcats. Has two fouls. Connor Danford coming back in. And then the big man here, Bobcats. Murphy taking a break for the Bobcats. Dragons have a little bit of a height advantage over the Bobcats. Morris is the main one. Yeah. Kindig, but he's on the bench. Knife one. Fouled, and he's going line shooting too. Looks like that's going to be on number 22. Connor Danford. Danford. Yep. He came back in the game. So the Dragons doing well from the line, which you want every basketball team as a coach. You want every basketball team to do that, but it's not always the case. Puts it in again. Oh, oh that's not Caden, that's Owen. Yeah, it's still an iPhone. I got it. It's my book. Good thing I'm keeping track. Knife on, on fire from the line with four of them. Dragons. He's four for four. Are seven of eight from the line. Stolen and recovered. What a recovery for Oregon Davis. Throws it back and Green. Great. Yep. I'm going to call the hurl. Quick shot. The Off oh. the top. Recovered. Nice shot. Rebound by Morris. Up to Redinger. Tipped out of bounds. Going to be Dragons basketball. It's a good idea from Redinger, start high, but the bounce pass. Yeah, Ellis yeah. is going to take his first break of the evening. Richard coming back in for him, and <coughs> Colin O'Dell. And Morris is going to come out. Yeah. I don't know the official announcers. Definitely have some volume to it. <laughs> Colin Odell comes out, gets it. Redinger, Manikowski, top of the key. Richard, um, foul on the ground. That's actually going to put him at one and one. And Another foul on number 22, Connor Danford. That's going to be his second. Danford, and now Richard's at the line. <laughs> Looks like Weil is coming back in. Weil. We've been getting it wrong all the while. <laughs> You're a poet and you didn't know it. Mike Richards gets the first one to go. <laughs> you were thinking he was going to drop a cheerleader, weren't you? Looked like it. Both of them. Sketchy over there at the moment. She trusts him, so. Yeah. Dragons are 9 of 10. 90% from the free throw line in the first half. Your math is amazing too. It is, it is on par. Knife on. Ellis going in. Probably for knife on. Most likely. It's only his first. Getting a quick breather. Dragons are up 18 to five in the second quarter. They kick it over. Quick three, and it's off the mark. Richard lets it float out. Danford tried the three, but it was just a little long. <clears throat> I wonder if that's Reese's brother. I Danford. would think so. It's just a guess. But I see her standing over there. Cousin. Odell fakes, looks, gets it over to Redinger. Tries to pass it in, tipped out of bounds. <laughs> Stoltz going in, Redinger taking a quick break. Dragon substitution, number 21, Jake Stoltz. Richard for three. Bingo. Michael Richard on it tonight. He's leading all scores with nine right now. 
Must have missed two in. Oh, yeah, there's other free throws. Three in return, missed. Oh, nice rebound. Green had a good offensive board. Maintain possession down for Oregon Davis Bobcats. Wild. Taylor, quick jumper, and it's off to Mark Barely and rebound by Stoltz. Manikowski, Richard. Manikowski fakes, looks, gets it over to Stoltz. Ellis. Manikowski, quick little jumper. He loves it, and in and out. Rebound goes to Wild for the Bobcats. Wild fakes, looks, gets it over to Taylor. They rotate it around. Danford, all the way across. Green. Picks up his dribble, rotates it. Taylor gets it way out, top of the key. Blocked by Manikowski. Jaggins up by 16 with a little over four minutes left in the second quarter. Ellis fakes, looks, gets it over to Odell. Manikowski. And one gets it to go. Manikowski. Owen Nifong and Dylan Murphy coming back in, giving Colin Odell and Jared Bryant a break. Yep. Sam Manikowski will be at the line for one. All right, Dragons doing very well. I'm not going to jinx them. Manikowski's going to make this one. 10 of 11 from the free throw line in the first half so far. I thought you weren't going to jinx them. I didn't. I oh, until he made it. After, I I mean, it. It, once he made it, it was all good. Taylor. Fakes, Danford rotates it out to Green. Coach is telling them they're too slow, they gotta move the ball quicker. Kicked, soccer skills, state champ Manikowski kicks it out of bounds. <laughs> Right now, the Actually, entire squad is kind of safe. And there's going to be a timeout from Oregon Davis. We'll be back right after this. 24-5, to 5, Dragons lead. Nutrien Ag Solutions is the world's largest company for crop inputs with more than 1,000 global locations. Nutrien Ag Solutions strive to help growers achieve the highest yields with the most sustainable solutions possible. Stop by their local location just east of Fulton or call at 574-857-3555 or visit online at www.nutrienagsolutions.com to see how Nutrien can help you. Do you have questions about Medicare supplement insurance? Let's sit down and talk. Here at First Federal Savings Bank, you'll meet with a licensed local agent to explore your different options. We can customize a plan that fits your needs and budget. Call me 574-223-1705 for a free consultation. And we're back. Dragons basketball. You know, we were talking every player on the Dragons roster except one was on the state soccer team. Played soccer, yeah, it was a couple. Go, there was one that was a jv -er, but the other than that, yeah, yeah. when you go to a small school, you gotta kinda. Do it all. You can all multitask there. Yep. It's one great thing about being at a small school. All these schools can, can attest to that. Yep. Oregon Davis, Danford, kicks it caddy corner. Taylor comes across to get it. Wild, baseline drive, kicks it over to Taylor. Totally stepped on the line. Coach Mawson saying that. What a rebound by Nifong. Coast to coast, over to Stoltz, fakes, gets it over to Manikowski. Floater, and Manikowski for two more. I do believe that Sam may have found his groove. He is now tied with Mike 
both have nine. Manikowski and Richard have both doubled. Oh, there's a big three from Danford. I was just ready to say basically doubled the score, but then he puts in the big three. Twenty-six to eight. Stoltz, Morris, Ellis. Alley-oop, and iPhone gets it. Travel? Nope. Three seconds in the lane. Are you kidding? Three seconds in the lane. Owen's like, what are you serious? <laughs> what a ball break from Nightfall to yeah. get the man in the air. <laughs> Still a call, it's seldom called anymore. It's almost like travel in the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know I don't watch the NBA. No doubt. Murphy had it, kicks it over to Taylor. No, that's Pitt. No, Taylor got it, then Pitts. All right. Weil has it. Here's the screen. Kicks it back over. Taylor. Weil. My phone just about stole it. Murphy kept it. Tries to draw a foul by jumping into him. Knife on. Manikowski, bucket, Manikowski. <laughs> nice assist from Knife on. He knows when Sam's shooting and he's on, just get him the ball. Hits, wow, and he was fouled before Morris parked it. Ellis for a second, most likely. Yep. Yep. It's gonna send Wild to the free throw line. Shooting two, 54 seconds left in the half. Dragons up 28 to eight. Puts it in. Mike Richards will be giving Kayla Bellis a break. Ellis in our only foul trouble with two. <laughs> it's not really trouble. <laughs> Dragons have played a very clean game with only three fouls on the evening. And Wild puts the second one in, bringing the Bobcats up to 10. Dragons will take this last second shot here, most likely. Being up by 18. Dragons have no issue moving the ball around. Manikowski looks, coach whistles, tells him that's the cue. Look for the opening. Crossover, shot, and an out. Stoltz with the foul. Two point nine seconds. Two point nine. Let's see if we got some uh, last second heroics from Morgan Davis. Gets it over to Wild. He tries to jump into him to draw the foul, and was not. Good. And that's, he knows he's not going to get that. Tried his best to draw the yep. foul. It was. Uh, that's yeah, going to do it for the half. Dragons up 28 so we're to going 10. To, we're going to some commercials. We'll be gone a while. You may come back. You may just see a blank screen maybe. While we take care of some business, getting some stats. Yep. You'll okay. see the, the center of the court, and we'll get some stats some and stuff. It'll be muted, and then we'll be back get you and the stats. get you some unofficial official stats. All righty. First Federal Savings Bank can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide a little spending cash with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit 
allows you to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our local experienced lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Hi, I'm John Oliver letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. We do a 40-point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next, we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide selection of valuable services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer business loans and business checking accounts. Give us a call at any one of our branch locations and let us help you. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today.
The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide selection of valuable services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer business loans and business checking accounts. Give us a call at any one of our branch locations and let us help you. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. And we're back here from sectional 50 at Triton Trench, Urban Indiana, where the Dragons are taking on the Oregon Davis Bobcats. So we got some halftime stats. Amy, go ahead with Oregon Davis. Okay, first for the Bobcats, uh, Garrett Weil has two, Connor Danford with three, and Cameron Taylor leads the Bobcats scoring with five. And for the Dragons. Go ahead, Amy. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you, sorry, miscommunication. Oh, and Knife on with four, JJ Morris with four, Michael Richards with nine, and let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Sam Manikowski with 11. First scoring, uh, first quarter scoring was 14 to five. Second quarter scoring was 14 to five, which leads to the- 28 to 10. 28 to 10. <laughs> so if the Dragons keep that up. You know, I like math. This is a perfectly mathematical game. There you go so far. So we got about 40 seconds left. We just got an update that Culver Military uh, putting the whoop down on Plymouth Pilgrims Class 2A sectional here local up in Plymouth, Indiana. Um, in with fouls for Oregon Davis, Green has two, Brian has two, Danford has two, Murphy has one, and Weil has one. And for the Dragons, Caleb Ellis with two, and Owen Nifong and Jake Stoltz both with one. So nobody in real foul trouble. Nope. It's been a pretty clean game. Well, I got a little bit of uh, Austin Powers. Austin Powers music. <laughs> playing in the background as the Dragons get ready to take the court. And here we go. Oregon Davis basketball. Dana Murphy to bring it in bounds. And gets it over to Green. Comes across the timeline. Taylor, Ryle. Rebound, goes to Morris. Kicks it over to 
Manikowski. Nifong. Shots up and just misses. Wild with the rebound. Gets it out to Murphy, comes across the timeline. Long distance three. Air ball. Rebound goes to Green, though. Wild. Boy. Morris fouled him, but they didn't call it. Ellis down to Morris. Skyhook misses. Rebound goes back to Wild. That's two in a row for him on the defensive end for the boards. Taylor kicks it over, gets it back, top of the key. Danford had it, over to Green, back over to Danford. Long distance three, and it's no good. Rebound goes to Manikowski. I almost thought the bank was open. You know, banking hours is closed at the moment. Minute 20 into this third quarter, and no one scored. Ellis. Top of the key. Richard over to Morris. Foul from behind on the ground on Weil. I believe that'll be his second. Morris gets it. Manikowski drives. Richard, wide open for three, and it's off the mark. Tipped, and it's going to be Oregon Davis basketball. Hmm. Uh, there's no one sitting there, all two rows up on me. I'm standing up. When she wanted to make sure I wasn't blocking anyone's view. Kayla Bellis came out and took very nerds in the ball game. Murphy, Danford, Weil, Morris, very good defense. Turns Weil back, so he kicks it out to Taylor, top of the key, over to Danford. Morgan Davis moving the ball quicker. Green, Taylor, shots up. No good, rebound, Redinger. Kicks it over to Manikowski, and here comes the Dragons. Gets it over to Redinger. Long three, and no good. Rebound goes to Richard. Manikowski back over to Richard. Gets it to Morris, Morris spins and misses. Rebound to Danford, and here comes Oregon Davis. We are still scoreless in this third quarter. Tipped, and here it goes. And Nifong breaks the deadlock of the second half with his tip, steal, and the bucket. Blocking foul. <laughs> I didn't think he was close enough to be. I'm not sure. I Hit him pretty him. good, Murphy, but that's a uh, blocking foul. His second foul. Nifong Zhang, his second. Morris taking a quick break. Yep, Dragons first of the half. One for each team. And Colin O'Dell into the game. Weil has it, tries to get back to Taylor, takes a three instead, and it's in and out, rebound, Nifong. Waits until the clear of the herd, and then he goes. Manikowski, jumper, gets, no, rebound goes over to Richard. Thought that might have been a foul. Yeah, well, Odell fakes. Richard, Manikowski, Nifong fakes, caddy corner. Odell for three. And an out, rebound goes to Nifong. Shots up, blocked, tipped out of bounds. Wow. Oh. He was tipped. No, 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 he said oh. it, he said it. 
Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, he knew. Uh, Coach Molson wanted to know how, and he could ref saying, hey, just a minute, just a minute. He's got to correct it. Sometimes, Odell gets it. Sometimes you point the wrong way. Richard, little jumper. Good. Michael Richard with two more. 32-10, Dragons up. 3.57 left in the third quarter. Murphy way out high, has the ball. Odell's parked underneath there. That'll be Odell's first foul. That was a good one for Odell. I mean, he was parked there, but yeah, I, I get, get got the blocking foul. Murphy at the line and short on that one. Coach Watson singeing his hair on his head on that one because he was you know, set. He was getting a little upset with the call. And Murphy short on that one and rebound goes to Manikowski. Redinger, shot, no good, and Redinger shooting two. That Sorry, Richard. Redinger made the pass, and Richard shooting two. Foul on 10, Dylan Green, I believe that's his third. Green very active for the Bobcats. And it's good. Continuing on where they left off in the first half. <laughs> Richard, Dragons, 12 of 13 from the line. Travels. Manikowski has it. Foul on the floor. On the floor. <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm -mm. <laughs> One of the fans was a woman. Everybody Stop fouling. <laughs> oh, I thought she said scowling. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fouling. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Actually, though, there's only three fouls. That was on 34, Ryan Pitts. Jesus, Pete, my phone. Silly turnover on the... I'd rather get it in than, yeah. than hand it over. Good defense from Morgan Davis, just... Quick three from Taylor, no good. Rebound, Weil. And what a lay-in by Weil. <laughs> Odell. Manikowski has it. Knife on. Shots up, misses. Rebound goes to Odell. Fakes, turns, looks, kicks it out to Knife on. Manikowski for three. Short. Rebound goes to Redinger. Hands it to Manikowski. Tip over to Odell. And he's. Oh, oh my word. How are they calling that? <laughs> he was shooting. And that one they called. Okay, so that's only his first foul. Three and three on the fouls. Thirty-four, twelve. Shots up, misses, rebound, goes to Redinger, and here comes the Dragons. Throwing some punches out there, I think. That's the second time like I've it. seen grab their face. Manikowski fakes it, gets it over to Nifal. Spin move. On the hand. <laughs> no foul, once again. It's 
by his sixth. <laughs> Manikowski. Odell. That one they called. They're going to call it on them, but. After. 14. Garrett Wow, that might be his third. J.J. Morris comes back into the game for Colin Odell. Odell putting in a good shift for the Dragons. And Connor Danford's going to give uh, Wyle a break. Yep. Morris rotates it. Nifong. In and out. Taylor. Both teams a little cold here in the third quarter. Quick three. From Pitts. No good. Rebound, Rebound, Green. Foul. Oh. Green shooting two. It's a good foul. It's going to be on Mike Richard. That's his second. Nope, first. First? Wow. Mm. Argus bench? I don't know. I guess. I'm not sure. I didn't see what happened, but. I don't know. Okay. Shot's good. There's a official warning for the Argus bench. Not sure what happened. Don't know if it was hard telling. Don't know. Nolan Green puts his first shot in. Gets it in. Dragons up 20. Minute 20 left in the third. Stolen back by Nifong. Fifty-six seconds left. Nifong drives, gets it right over to Morris. And misses. Rebound. Nifong. Misses. Tipped out. And here comes Oregon Davis. Shot by Taylor, and it's good. Cameron Taylor. <laughs> nice stutter step there. Manikowski just using the clock. He's got 20 seconds till Waiting on that end last of the third. Shot. Gets it over to Nifong. Redinger for three. Short. Short. Ball's loose. Oregon Davis comes up with it. Quick jumper. Rebound goes to Dragons, and that's it. That's the end of the third. Dragons leading 34-16. We'll be back right after these messages. I remember what it was like to buy my first home. I was nervous, but with the help of First Federal Savings Bank mortgage experts, you have no need to worry. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy working with first-time home buyers. And with our premier first-time home buyer loan program, there is no PMI and as little as 5% down payment is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store, offering everything you need for your home improvement, lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. And we're back, Dragon Basketball. Both teams had six points that quarter. It was a kind of a dry quarter for both squads. And actually, that was Oregon Davis' best <laughs> quarter. Yeah. Manikowski gets it. Start of the fourth. Dragons up 34-16. 
for three. Short, rebound goes to Nifong. Shots up, misses, rebound, ready now. Redinger has it. Ellis, Manikowski from the elbow, in and out. Tipped. It's gonna be a foul on Oregon Davis. Green. Oregon Davis foul, number 10, Green. That's Green's fourth foul. Manikowski. Redner gets it. <laughs> Cooley with the foul. Morris back in the ball game, giving Manikowski a break. Yeah. Richard recovers the errant pass. Nifong has it. I'm going to say Ted Redinger foul. Yep. Yep. I did not see that. I don't know what. So that's his first foul. Looks like Drake Stahl will go in maybe for Redinger. Gets in the corner. Lyle with his fourth. Oh, dude's got two players with four fouls. He hooked him. Offensive foul. Yep. Oregon Davis foul, 14 wild. Gets it down to Richard. Oregon Davis basketball. To tell him to stop yelling. <laughs> Gets the ball, kicks it down. Wild drives. Blocked. And here comes Nifong. Nifong's not wasting time. He's got him beat. Lays it in and one. And that's Green's fifth. Oh, Owen is very good on the coast to coast. That's his favorite thing to do. Yeah, with just go with yep, pace. That's, that's Green. That's going to be his fifth. Brandon Swanson coming into the Braden Swanson. Sorry about that. Looks like he'll be coming in. Manikowski coming in. Caden Nifong coming in for the Dragons. Sending in the man with all the meat on his bones, Caden Nifong. <laughs> Looks just like his dad. Yep. Slender build. Hi, the coach. I know he's here. I already saw him, but. Nifong, great three-point shooter. He's my fellow coach. Oh, Owen misses. Tipped. <laughs> Morris needs to grab that if he can instead of flinging her out. That's the second missed free throw of the entire night for the Dragons. That's it. Tipped out of bounds by Stoltz. Good defensive play. Wow. Kicks it back. Taylor looks to drive. Tipped. Stolen by Stoltz. Picks it up, 
waits, gets it over to Nifong. Manikowski. Dragons just rotating it now. Misses. Rebound, Manikowski, little jumper. Ooh, no there. foul. And. Oh, he's out of bounds, okay. Oh, and saying that's my bad, I should have made that layup. And then Manikowski, Owen was hit, Manikowski hit, and then Caden Debray, or Nifong was out of bounds when he tried to tip it back in. Danford, Cooley, back over the pitch, rotates it around. Wild. Swanson has it. Great save there by Swanson. Swanson, yep. Yeah. And Oregon Davis just moving the ball quickly. Dragons just packing the down low to where they can't get in. Pitts is on the other side. He's ready. He wants it. He's on that three-point line. Tipped out by Stoltz. Going to be Oregon Davis basketball again. Pitts. Fakes. Kicks it over to Cooley. Pitts. Swanson, hits, looks to quick three, no good. Nifong, dribbles through, understanding that he doesn't need to do anything, but use the clock up. Dragons up by 20. Stolt. Nifong, three. In there, Caden. And <laughs> out, close for Nifong. Foul wow, on Morris. I don't think it would have mattered where he was standing. He never yeah. would have gotten the charge. <laughs> Wild shooting two. Nolan taking a break. Kayla Bell is coming back in. Odell going back in. Muller's taking a break. Looks like Coach is resting his players for tomorrow. Maybe. They're up by 19. He scored that first one, didn't he? Have we shot one yet? <laughs> yep. Made them both. Okay. It's slacking. Stoltz. Odell spins away. Ellis, Stoltz. Knife on. Twenty-two. There he is. His third. Yep. Danford's third. At the line for one and one, Sam Minikowski. Puts it in. Manikowski. His first points is half. Something like that. In my official unofficial stats. Yeah. I kind of goes off second half sometimes, so. Puts it in. Dragons back up by 20. Oh. Shipped out by Ni uh, Manikowski. Good hustle. In and out, rebound Stoltz. Hands. Cooley's on Manikowski. Gets it down to Odell. Shots up and puts it in. Odell over Wild. In the corner, gets it back. Turnover and Manikowski's got him beat. Oh, and he misses just barely, and he's shooting two. 
Swanson is first. Boom. Three in a row for Manikowski. And Four in a row. Good. Richard in, Manikowski breather. Manikowski so far has what, about 15? What do you have at half? I don't 11, know. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, 16. Shots up. Swanson, short. a little short. Stoltz has it. Over to Ellis. Nifong looks. Stoltz. Ellis. Nifong. Oh. It's all right, good idea. He passed it where he thought he was standing. Yep. Ellis rotated it quick. Ellis taking the break. The last, well, second to the last starter out. But Richard had been sitting out, so he come back in. Yeah. Ellis probably going to sit the rest of the game. Cooley for three, and it's a little short. Why would he foul? He had no chance to get to the ball. And he sure enough did. Carl no doubt, but yeah. the second. Just going to put Weil at the line for one and one. Osborne's last one hasn't been in. Mills. Mills. Sorry. Yeah. And then they're, Brady. They're I forgot. Brady. Freshman Brady. Uh, Brady's a sophomore. Gets it in. Pitts real quick. Misses. Strong rebound by Redinger. Foul, foul, foul. Jump ball. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder because his hands were over him, but they chose jump ball, so that's going to be Bob, no, Dragon Bass. No, it's going to be Bobcat Bass, I was going to say. He yes. pointed that way, but then I saw it's Bob Kitty Cat. Redinger standing out there and confused me a little bit. Cool, he has it. You say Bob Kitty Cat? Yeah. Cooley for three, short again. And in comes Brady. And out goes Michael Richard. Redinger has it. Stoltz brought it across the timeline. Redinger over to Stoltz. Back over to Odell. Shot. In and out. Rebound goes to Weil. Cooley looks. In the corner. Three short. Rebound goes to Stoltz again. Cooley with the foul. Stoltz jumped, threw it off him anyways. Would have got the ball back, but... Another foul. Stoltz going line, shooting two. Dragons up 42-18 with a minute 46 left. Seven o'clock tomorrow night. Aiden Mills. AJ Mills making his varsity debut tonight. He barely fills out that jersey. <laughs> and Odell takes a break. The freshman's in. Not here. Uh, Osborne so far is the only one that hasn't played for the Dragons now. I'm thinking Coach will get him in here. I'm sure. Picks it back. Uh, looks. 
Danford picks up his dribble. Swanson, three, short. Rebound goes to Redinger. And there's Osborne. Stoltz. Whoa. <laughs> Foul. <laughs> Sometimes you just get your body going and you can't stop it. That <laughs> happens. Stoltz okay. wore the saddle on that one, folks. Forty-three, eighteen. Dragons up. Stoltz at the line. Puts it in. Osborne in for Redinger. Good work out of Ted Redinger tonight. Kind of got our G. Yeah. These are split players moved up for and re rebound. <laughs> Foul. And Brady, or, uh, nice rebound from Nifong, and Caleb Nifong's going to the line. Shooting two. Looking to get the first varsity point, right, Caden? What? 160 pounds? No way. No, that's a 10. <laughs> oh, 110 pounds. Okay. I was going to say 110 pounds. Of them. Nice job. Puts it in. Dragons have only missed two free throws, three three throws the entire night. Oh, I only remember the one. I think I dozed off. It's past my bedtime. Puts it in. Nice job, Katie. Looks, gets it over in the corner. Back up top. Shot, miss, rebound, Brady. On a call of foul, Brady's going to the line. Brady's at the line. Can he get a point? Let's see what happens. I don't know if he's had varsity plays before. Boom. He did. Osborne just about stepped over our the little, line. Our little neighbor boy. Forty-seven, eighteen. Put them both in, smooth as silk. This is the team that needs to shoot free throws all every game here on out. Uh, stolen by Nifong, and he puts nice it in. Nice job, Kaden. Quick three, and it's good. Puts Ryan it in. Pitts, Pitts for three. 50, 21, 46 seconds left. It looks like Dragons will hold it for the last second shot. Brady gets it over to Mills. Osborne fakes. Stolen. Pitts with the steal. And he lays it in. I like him. He's got, he's tenacious. He is quick. Yeah. He's quick. He's going to do good things in the future for the Bobcats. Osborne. 12 seconds. Dragons up by 27. Brady. Brady what, steps back and just throws it out. What did you say they'd win by? They're close. I didn't get 22 that. is what I said. Oh. Are we? That's going to do it. We're going to get the unofficial stats. We'll be back. We're going to take a few break. Commercials? So we'll be back. We're going to take a quick break. And we'll try to get the stats, turn them in, give them to you guys. And we'll call it an evening tonight. Dragons win. Going to the final tomorrow night here at Triton. We'll be back after this. Hi, I'm John Oliver. We love our customers, and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car? Get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guarantee. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. Got that new home addition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh. 
you want to go there. Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus, right. did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. We've got some official, unofficial stats. This came from the scores table, so this is as official as it gets. Well, then we've got official stats. Let's All see right. here. Hold on, i got to find the points, though. There we go. Let's see. First for Oregon Davis, we've got Green with two, Danford with three, Pitts with five, Weil with six, and Taylor with seven. Um, for the Dragons, we've got Odell with two, Caden Brady with two, Jake Stoltz with two, JJ Morris with four, Caden Nifong with four, it's like Owen Nifong with eight, Michael Richard with 13, and leading all Dragons, scoring 15 tonight is Sam Manikowski. All right, well that's gonna do it here for tonight's action as the Dragons win 50 to 23, and they will be in the final game against Triton tomorrow night. Tip-off, 7 p.m. here from the Tro Trojan Trench. You've been watching Argus TV at RTC TV4. For Andy Stone, Amy Stone, Phil D, and Peyton Heckman, we want to say good night, good evening, and thanks for watching.